and welcome to another episode of This Is My Architecture. I'm Arati from AWS and joining me in Mumbai today is Tushar from FanFight. Tushar, thank you for joining us today. Thank you, Arati. So Tushar, tell us what FanFight does. FanFight is a daily fantasy sports platform where user can create their team and join various con uh, contests and uh, win real money. So I am a big fan of fantasy league games. What specific sports do you support? We uh, support cricket as well as football. And what scale are we talking about here? So uh, last month we have 1.5 million new registered user and every match uh, around half million users create their team. That's a large number of users that we are talking about. How do you build this architecture on AWS today? So we have mobile and web users. So they send requests over to our API gateway. API gateway handed over to various Lambda functions. And those Lambda functions talk with our database MongoDB and send back the request send back the request to our users. What are the other data ingestion sources that you have? So uh, after the match start, we trigger one Lambda function and whatever the match related data in the MongoDB, we store back to the S3. Okay, uh, so that makes your CloudWatch event trigger into S3, which is clear. What about these game APIs here? So after match starting, whenever the po uh, points change or score change, we uh, trigger the Lambda function, The whatever the change in score we uh, detect and we send that data over to the S3. Okay, so you kind of completed your data ingestion phases. So once data resides in S3, what happens next? So we start processing uh, uh, our leaderboard uh, with S3 and EMR. And what is the leaderboard? Where my user uh, can check their rank as well as winnings. Okay, and how does that processing happen? So we take uh, every Spark jobs uh, we create, it take the data from the S3 and process the ranking as well as uh, the estimate winnings and store it back, back to MongoDB where a user can check their leaderboard. So final output is after the processing it's done, it gets pushed to Mongo back yes. again and that's when I as a user will see my leaderboard with rankings and scores. Yeah. So we talked about ingestion and then processing and how that gets fed into the final leaderboard output. What about Redshift here? So we are using Redshift for analytics for free entry as well as uh, a coupon or whom to give that uh, whom to give that coupon as well as free entry. So where's data feeding into Redshift from? From S3, we are taking all the data to the Redshift. And then you do all your analytics here. Yeah. Great. With fantasy leagues, I am sure like your number of users keep increasing. Uh, what are some of the enhancements that you're thinking about in order to accommodate that scale for this architecture? So we are planning to uh, use Apache Spark streaming with EMR as well as uh, DynamoDB. Also, we are planning to uh, use uh, to Redshift uh, with uh, Amazon Personalized as well as Forecast. For prediction purposes. Yeah. Great. Um, for a Fantasy Leagues fan, great insight into the architecture. Thank you for sharing this architecture with us. You're welcome. And thank you for watching This Is My Architecture. See you soon.